All my loves, thanks for returning. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me actually shopping my stash and attempting to recreate the new Born to Run eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay. So if you're interested in seeing the shadows that I came up with, then just keep watching. So first, let me just say that this is my first time attempting to recreate a palette. And I just thought that this was important to do considering I'm trying to change my thought process when it comes to buying makeup. So I have put together two Z palettes and I'm pretty much just going to keep it simple and just show you and swatch the shades that I have. So actually I had to put them together in two different palettes because I don't have a long palette like the Born to Run palette. So I'm gonna go through these shades and just show you what I thought pretty much matched what is in the Born to Run palette. Now I'm not saying that these are exact dupes. These are, I guess, as close that I could get and also close enough to resemble the palette to where I would be satisfied to really take away that desire to want the palette. I can just use these shadows that I pretty much put together. So let's go ahead and get started. So the way that I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna tell you the brand, I'm gonna swatch it and I'll the name on the screen. So the first color in the palette is Breakaway and I'm just gonna go across and I'm going to start off with that light ivory color. And the color that I came up with is this ivory color. And Breakaway is described as a ivory shimmery, a warm ivory shimmery color. And this is the shade that, that I found in my collection that I think best resembles that color. And the next color in the Born to Run palette is Stranded. And Stranded is described as a pale rose gold with tonal micro shimmer. And this color is a buxom shadow. And I thought this shade closely resembled Stranded. The next color in the Born to Run palette is Blaze, and they've described Blaze as a light metallic peach with a pink shift. And I have another Sephora shadow, okay, and I felt as though this shadow really had the metallic peach with a pink shift. And I know that they're looking really close um, and it's probably because of my skin tone, but in person they really are different. All right, so the next color in the Born to Run palette is Weekender and that's just a simple light neutral beige matte. And this is a shadow and it doesn't swatch all that well, but it really does apply very good. The next but. color in the Born to Run palette is Steel Shot and that is described as a light peach. And this is a Natasha Denona shadow. And I'm gonna swatch it a couple of times to make it wide so you can see. I know it may kind of be a little difficult to see because of my skin tone, I'm not sure. But I hope you can tell that that is a peach color. And but. the next color in the Born to Run palette is Riff. And that is described as a brown nude matte. And this is another Natasha Denona eyeshadow. Oh, and here it is. I didn't even show it to you. Again, I'm hoping that that is showing up. The next one in the Born to Run palette is As Good As Gone. And this one is described as a deep brown with micro. Here is the shadow right here. This is a ink lot shadow and there is the brown. Okay, so now moving on to the second row. So the first color in the second row is Hell Ride. And this is called, and this is described as a deep fuchsia matte. And I have this color by Coastal Scents. And I think that this is probably the brightest fuchsia or single shadow that I have in my collection. Okay, so the next one is Baja. They have it described as a burnt orange matte, but in the picture it really doesn't look like it's burnt orange. But I have another ink glot shade. Let me go ahead and swatch this. The next one in the Born to Run palette is Accelerate and that's described as a reddish copper metallic. And I have another color by 
coastal scents. Okay, and as you can see, it does have that hint of red and uh, a metallic finish. The next one in the Born to Run palette is Guilt Trip, and that's described as a smoky purple shimmer. And this is another coastal scent shadow. There you go, that's a really pretty color. Let me go ahead and swatch it again. I think you can really see the smoky shift, the smoky and metallic purple shift. The next color is Ignite in the Born to Run palette and that's described as a rose gold metallic. And here is another Coastal Scents shade. And this one is like really close to my skin tone, so I'm not sure if you can even see it. Okay, so the next one is Smog, and I have a Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow. And this one has a little bit more taupe in it, but still I thought that this was a really close color to it. And I'm sorry, Smog was... Well, yeah, Smog is described as a deep coppery bronze shimmer, and I thought that this shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills closest resembled that. So the next one in the Born to Run palette is Wanderlust, and that one's described as a forest green with gold micro shimmer. And the color that I was gonna show you all, I'll still go ahead and show it to you, is this one. Okay, so that is green, but I do have this infallible shadow by L'Oreal, and I think that this better resembles that shade, plus it's got those micro shimmers. So let me just go ahead and swatch it. That is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it one more time. And if you all have never tried those in these infallible eyeshadows, you have got to try them. They are so smooth and soft and really nice to deal with. So yeah, that, actually this shadow and this green one. I guess I could, let me go ahead and swatch this one too. But I wanted to show you all the L'Oreal one because it was just a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go ahead and come up here. So the next one is Wild Heart, and that's described as a bright fuchsia. We're on the last row now. And here it is. The next one I have is Punk, which is the red brown matte. Here it is right here. And this color is a buxom shadow. The next one is Double Life, and it's described as a metallic rust. And I have this Natasha Denona shadow. But there that one is. And the next one is Jet, and that's described as a black with deep shimmering purple shift. Now, I actually have two. I have a Sephora shadow here. And this is really, really pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch this one. Not sure if you can see that shift, the purple shift. And I have another L'Oreal Infallible Single Shadow. I think this one is a little bit more sparkly than the Sephora one, but let me go ahead and swatch that one for you. That's kind of a, <laughs> a bad swatch, but yeah. no. And the next one in the Born to Run palette is Drift, and that's described as a charcoal satin with tonal micro sparkle. And here is the color that I picked. This is a Sephora shadow. And this is probably the closest shade that I have. I know that it looks gray, but that's what I have. The next color is Radio, and this color is described as a emerald color. However, the shade is blue in the palette. This is another Coastal Scents shade. This is the closest one that I had. I know it really does look a bit bright, 
but like I said I think this is probably the closest that I had without it going uh, too too dark and too too navy but I'm not sure why it's describing it as an emerald shade even though it looks blue and this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to swatch this down below and there that color is swatched down below so here are the shades again this will be my take on the born to run palette again I know that it's not an exact dupe I was trying to really take a close look at the colors that I had and just show you the shadow the single shadows that I have that closely resemble the shadows in that palette and I honestly think that if someone did a look with the born to run palette I think that I could duplicate the look with these shadows let me know down in the comments are you going to get this palette Palette, or do you plan on shopping your stash to see if you can recreate it yourself I actually thought this was fun and I may make it into a series but yeah I would like to make this a series to where I actually shop my stash and try to recreate the newer palettes out there so thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches